G'day, I'm Coach Tim and I'm from the Ingle Farm Falcons Softball Club and today we're going to give you a great softball tip. In today's video we're going to talk to you about first base coaching signals. Signals are a great way for a coach to tell the player exactly what kind of shot he wants them to play when they're batting in softball. Before the game, the coach should arrange with the team what his indicator signal will be. For some coaches, it might be touching their hat, or maybe tapping their shoulder, or touching their ear, for example. I like touching the ear. So sometimes you might see coaches do lots of different weird signals, like tap their body or whatever, but as a batter, you should ignore all those signals until you see the indicator appear. Touching the hat, touching the shoulder, or touching the ear. That signal which comes directly after that is what the coach wants the batter to do. Today we're going to show you three very simple first base coaching signals. The first one is for bunting. Bunting is when the coach will touch their indicator signal first and then touch the belt. They could be doing everything else beforehand, tapping and popping or whatever, the batter should ignore all that until they see them do the indicator signal and then touch the belt for a bunt. The second signal we're going to look at today is for a hit. Once again, the coach may do a series of different signals, but the batter should ignore them all until he sees them do the indicator signal and then touch the hat to indicate a hit. The third and final signal today is the one for a steal. Once again, your first base coach may be moving around like he's dancing at a nightclub. Ignore all that until you see the indicated signal, which in my case is touching the ear. And then if he touches the shoulder, that indicates a steal. He wants the batter to action towards they're going to hit the ball and then pull back to allow the base runner to steal. Okay, that's it. So for a quick recap, when the batter comes to the box, he should watch for the coach's indicator signal, whether it's touching the hat or touching the shoulder, in my case, touching the ear, and then watch for the signal that comes directly after that indicator appears. Hey, thanks for watching the video today. Hope you got something out of it. And if you did, let me know in the comments section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.